Okay, Windows now is restarted. I will log on as a administrator, but before log on to the server, you should notice after the restarting is completed, you should notice that now you have edu tick. This is edu tick, the new domain that uh, you created by uh, installing the uh, active directory and promoting your server as a domain controller not now we have uh, a new domain and we should notice this once once the uh, server is restarted okay this is the server uh, log on operation so it uh, it will complete it uh, the uh, configuration of the domain controller okay we finish the installation now let's go to the fourth step as you know as you remember the fourth step is to install the DHCP server now we have on the roles we have right this will give me the role role list here I will see that we have uh, DNS and Active Directory and the uh, uh, domain uh, services collecting data about the roles installed Roles that has been added have been added okay now look we have active directory domain services this is our role and we have also DNS server now I will add the last role which is the DHCP role next DHCP server okay next I have some actually setting that I have to do okay now this is the domain name and this is the preferred DNS server this is the IP address for our server okay we don't have alternative now wins is not required wins uh, actually uh, uh, provide me with the compa compatibility for the uh, old operating system so I don't want wins now I have to add the scope what is a scope a scope is a range of IP address from which the server will assign the IP addresses to the connected uh, clients to it so I will add here uh, a new scope the name of the scope is scope 1 for example starting from 192.168.1. for example let's say 10 up to 192.168.1.1 dot hundred so I have uh, 90 or 91 91 uh, IP address available for the client which is uh, actually good enough the subnet mask is 255.255.0 this is for the default gateway it is, it is optional but I will put the default gateway for the server for the IP address for the server and 
I should activate this scope. Okay. Now I have a scope from this range. This range starting from 160, sorry, 192, 168, 1.10 up to 1.100. The server will assign this IP address to the uh, to the clients. Okay, enable stateless mode. Good. Next. Okay, use credential, yes, uh, server, now install. Oh, it will take some time to finish the installation. After you install the DHCP server, your server now is fully configured as a domain controller. Uh, you can uh, leave it uh, for, uh, for a while just to uh, add the clients to the server and join them uh, into the resources of the domain so uh, our work at this point will finish on the server we will go to the client uh, computers to make some setup of course the client setup the clients will be uh, Windows uh, 2000, uh, sorry, Windows 7. Uh, you have to install the operating system, then start the operation of uh, configuring the client to be a part of this domain. Now the DHCP server is installed successfully. Now we have three roles active directory domain system and dhcb server and the dns server now our server is fully configured as a, a domain controller we can we can check the setup by by writing on the command prompt ip config and we should see uh, sorry, I have to specify over A, which means give me the whole information about the uh, domain. Yes, sorry, it is not A, it is all. All, sorry. Yes, now I got the information. This is the domain name, idiotic com this is our uh, IV address and the subnet mask and uh, also I have the uh, uh, IBv6 address also and uh, everything is okay now our server is ready to act as a domain controller thank you very much in next video we will configure our clients to connect to the to this domain